welcome back to another video. For today's video, I am bringing you outdoors to share with you a new home project that we are taking on. We just had our lower patio installed and we are beginning the landscape in our backyard. So I'm gonna take you through what we plan to do, what we're gonna be working on today. I also plan to make some updates to our garage area. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I just thought this would be fun to document um, the progress. That way I can look back at this one day and just see how far we've come. But also I thought it would be great to share this with you guys in hopes of inspiring you and giving you some ideas for your home. So I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy these kinds of videos. Thank you so much for stopping by and let me flip the camera around and show you what we have to work with. So I'm currently standing on our lower patio that was recently installed. And just to give a little background, I'll try not to ramble on here, but we do have a walkout basement and we had our upper patio put in probably four, maybe five years ago. And that has been like our hangout spot. Whenever we've been outdoors, we just hang out on the upper patio. And I have been longing for a lower patio for a long time, but we just wanted to make sure that, you know, we budgeted for it and just, we wanted it done the right way. So we were very patient and finally had that installed recently. The final thing that needs to be done is the company needs to come back and do a final sealant that will really bring out the color of this. This is aggregate concrete. Um, and once it's sealed, it'll have a very nice beigey brown color and it'll have like a shine to it. It'll be so pretty. It's the same um, concrete that we had installed on our upper patio. We also bought new patio furniture because I could not wait to furnish this area um, and I'll show that furniture later on. It is currently covered, but this is kind of, just to give you an idea of the shape of the patio. So our plan is to put some boxwoods along the border here um, and also other trees and hydrangeas. I love hydrangeas, so I'm definitely going to put some hydrangeas here. Um, and then the patio extends this way we have steps over here that lead up to our driveway. And then over on this side of the patio, we have two tiered walls that, you know, these will be flower beds that we are going to be putting more landscape. But we have to move this dirt and kind of get this ready. Eventually we will have like a stone top installed on top of these walls, but for now they're kind of rough. Um, so we're gonna work on this today, move this dirt around, um, put some plantings here, and then let me show you up by our driveway what we plan to do. So yesterday we went to a local garden center and picked up some hydrangeas, these little um, arborvitaes that I plan to actually put in pots. And then we picked up two, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six arborvitaes, and then eight of these boxwoods. And so what our plan is, so leading from our driveway down to the backyard, we have these two pillars. We are going to put landscape on either side. Um, it's gonna be a pro process. So for today, we're going to start with some arborvitaes. Our plan is to put the arborvitaes on either side of the pillars, and then we'll have the boxwoods directly in front, just like you see it here. Then along the walkway, we're gonna have boxwoods on either side, just as like a border. And over here, we're going to rip up all this grass and just create this larger flower bed area. We plan to plant a tree. These little, um, I forget what these are called, but they turn into these really pretty spiked, like purple spikes later in the summertime. It's so pretty. And I just really love the kind of minty, it's kind of like a bluish, um, green color to the leaves. I think that's so pretty. So we have three of those and we'll probably plant those along the wall there. I plan to put some knockout rose bushes in this area, probably some hostas and maybe some ornamental grass, but it's gonna be so pretty once it's done, but a lot of work left to do. So first things first though, we're going to work on these flower bed areas that my husband has already started <laughs> moving dirt. My son's gonna come out and help. And my daughter, Mackenzie, she's helping out. 
You're helping find all the frogs, right? You're rehoming the frogs, finding new homes for them. Um, but yeah, so lots of work to do today. Let's get started. This was such a lovely weather day to be doing yard work. It was in the lower 70s and it was really nice and sunny and I quickly realized I was wearing the wrong clothes. The dirt was very, so many rocks in this dirt so it wasn't easy to shovel. So I was breaking a sweat. I did go and change my shirt and put on some rubber boots that I wouldn't be afraid to get dirty. But what we started with was redistributing this dirt pile, putting some of it on the upper tier to fill that and then moving it to the driveway area so that we could plant the boxwoods and the arborvitaes. At first we were going to remove all of the sod in this section, but we quickly realized that would just be way too much work to do all at once. So instead we just decided to remove the sod as needed and that worked out perfectly. Still was a lot of work, but I just am so happy with how it turned out and I just can't wait to have this project completely finished. Okay, so it's actually the following day. We got as far as we could and then decided to take a break and just pick this back up later. It's actually a lot more work than it appears to be, but let me show you the progress that we made and then I'll show you what, or talk about what I intend to work on today. We planted four arborvitaes and four boxwoods and the biggest or the hardest part of it was transporting that dirt, which my husband pretty much did on his own. I helped as much as I could. It's a lot of weight to be carrying or pushing in a wheelbarrow up this hillside. Um, so let me show you kind of the back view here. I love how it looks so far. We still need to rip this grass up, which we will do as we add more plantings. And then we obviously have to plant the ones on this side, but we're making progress. And let me show you what the tiers, um, the flower beds look like over here. So we did level out the dirt in this first flower bed and then the one beneath is where we took the majority of the dirt we used to plant the arborvitaes um, so you can see we're making progress on this dirt hill um, it's a lot it's a lot of hard labor so but it's coming along and I just cannot wait. It's going to look so nice. We're supposed to get a heat wave. I think tomorrow it's going to be in the 90s here, which is insane, but I'm here for it. I love hot weather. So for today, I plan to work on the garage. So as you can see, we have three light fixtures that are in really horrible, horrible shape. Let me show you up close. They're definitely weathered. I'm gonna replace them with these light fixtures that we picked up from Menards. I would use the same ones that we used on our front porch because I love the look of those. They're very much a modern look, but they're a little pricier than I wanna spend on garage lights. So I found this alternative very similar, um, but just, 
cheaper. So my husband's gonna hang these later on, but before that, I'm going to work on our garage service store because it needs a good repainting. There is paint chipping off. As you see here, the paint's flaking off in this area, so I need to scrape that off and just prep the door for painting, give it a good cleaning. Eventually, we'll be replacing the hardware. In fact, maybe we should go shopping for that today. I don't know, I'm not sure if we'll have time, but yeah, my plan is to paint this black to match the front door. It's gonna be a big transformation, like a small change like that, but big difference. I cannot tell you how excited I was about this project. I've been wanting to paint this door black ever since we painted our front door black. I could just envision it and in my mind, I knew it was gonna look good. But I will say it was a lot more work than I anticipated. There was way more paint that needed to be scraped off. So I started with this wire brush, kind of scrubbing at it and working it loose and then I moved on to a metal scraper followed by sanding. My husband stepped in and removed the caulking around the door because that needed, needed to be replaced as well. So there was a lot more work involved than what you see here and it was in the 90s on this day which is crazy because the day before it was just the low 70s but hey that is Michigan. Close-up showing how bad these things are. Wow, I'm so excited to be placed these. They're so weathered, and then this one over here is completely missing the. Um, what, are you doing? what do you call it? the glass portion? So yeah, it's gonna look so much better. While my husband worked on hanging those light fixtures, I worked on painting and I did wait until later in the evening to pick up the painting because being that it was a 90 degree weather day, it was just way too hot to be painting. You never want to paint when it's that hot. The paint will just dry way too quickly. And so I started by tr edging out the trim and then I moved on to the door. And the paint color I'm using is Sherwin-Williams Tricorn Black. It's the same paint color I used on the front door. We also use this on our interior staircase and I just love this color. I would like to eventually paint the garage doors black as well, but I'm not, I'm a little uncertain about that because currently the garage doors are, you know, they're the, they're painted the way the manufacturer painted them. So it's very, you know, I'm not worried about that ever flaking or anything like that. Whereas if I were to add paint to it, then I feel like that's gonna be a lot of maintenance. So not so sure we're going to paint the garage doors black. It's up for <laughs> debate, but I would like to, I just don't want that upkeep. So it's now the following morning. I did end up staying up later to get at least one coat on the door. It does need a second coat, but I am so in love with how it turned out. Let me show you. Excuse the garbage can, but this is what it looks like so far. And I think it looks a hundred times better. I do still have the tape around the door handles because I do plan to put one more coat. It needs at least one more coat. This coat was turned out a little bit thinner than I'd like, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it one more coat, um, but I love it. And also the light fixtures, this is what they look like. I know I showed some footage of them lit up at night, but I 
what I love is they look like, they remind me of lanterns. Um, because at nighttime, the color of the bulbs, it resembles like a burning flame. I just think that's so pretty. And this is exactly what I envision. Lastly, I wanted to share with you the new patio furniture that we got because again, in love. <laughs> this is from Sam's Club, believe it or not. But I just love the style of this. It's so kind of modern. Um, I don't know, I just love the wicker on it. The combination of the wicker with this kind of metal arm rest and these little swivel chairs are the same way they do swivel and also rock excuse the plastic i still have yet to remove that but they're so comfortable and i love how large they are as well and for anyone who's interested i still have to remove the tags even but it's called the harper collection it's by members mark and i'll link it down below in the description box for anyone who's interested but i love this set and let me show you the fire pit Look how massive this is. It's large so that it can fit uh, the propane tank inside. It has like a door at the end that you can open to put uh, to access the propane tank. You can use it as a table and then when you want to use it as a fire pit, you just remove this cover here and it has these pretty like glass, uh, glass pebbles, I guess you call it. But it's so beautiful at night and I'm in love with this set. We've already been using the fire pit a couple times now, probably at least three times. Um, but yeah, I just need to remove all this plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up here, but I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure you're subscribed so you, so you don't miss out on any future updates on this project. I will be doing at least one more video of this project to just show like the final outcome once everything's finished. So you don't wanna miss it. But again, thank you for stopping by and I will see you in my next one. Take care.